What's going on guys? It's Nicole Charnel here and today we are going to do another bullet journal video. So for today's video, we're going to talk about everything that you need to start your own bullet journal. If you don't know what a bullet journal is, it's basically a customized planner. There are rules about a bullet journal of how it was created and what it was created for and the way that it was created to be used. However, they are now so loosely used, your bullet journal could pretty just be anything you want it to be. Mainly people use a bullet journal to organize their lives um, and that's like the loosest, like most general term of it it's just a planner but with a bullet journal you can pretty much customize anything about your bullet journal anything you want to add to your bullet journal anything you want to track anything you want to um, see progression on that is what your bullet journal is for what i found it to be is mainly a journal that i put my planning information in the original creator of the bullet journal his name is Ryder carol i'll make sure i link his video of the explanation of a bullet journal down below and how he suggests you use it. However, like I said, you can pretty much use your bullet journal however you want. If you want to see how I use my bullet journal, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm definitely going to have more bullet journal videos this past year of 2020. I pretty much use my bullet journal the whole entire year. Now for this video, like I said, I'm going to explain to you everything you need to start your bullet journal. The first thing you're going to need is a journal of course so it's called a bullet journal because each page has bullet points on it uh, so you can make your own line system you can write as big as small as you want um, it's very customizable as I said but that's why it's called a bullet journal you can find a blank notebook anywhere you can use a spiral notebook you can use a like um, a notepad style notebook with lines in it uh, you can find these bullet journals almost anywhere these days bullet journaling has definitely taken off and become super popular in both the artsy aspect and the pro productivity aspect the second thing you're going to need is a really good pen i say a really good pen because like i feel like if you have a pen that you really love to write with you will always want to write with that pen you'll always like how it looks in your journal you'll feel comfortable when you're writing um and you'll kind of want your journaling to flow if you journal you know what i'm talking about like just having a good pen while journaling it just promotes the wanting to journal so to speak the pen i use is a is a precision v5 pen in black it's the rollerball but like the really fine 0.5 tip this is the one I use just for my regular writing throughout my journal. If I'm just writing notes, if I'm filling in my spreads, something like that, this is the pen I use. The second thing that you're going to need are some markers or anything that you're going to use to add color to your bullet journal. So the markers I prefer to use are the Tombow dual brush pens. They have the felt tip. And then they also have this um, like finer tip. And finer tip is easier if you're going to do like lines and outlines on your bullet journal, making boxes. And then your felt tip is pretty much used for anything from calligraphy or hand lettering to also just coloring and making doodles or filling in an illustration, something like that. This is actually the set that I am going to use for the majority of my year. I decided to have a theme for my bullet journal, not just in color, but also in the doodles that I'm going to put in, the stickers that I'm going to put in, because um, I want it to look really cohesive and I want to be able to flip back and enjoy seeing what I'm looking at. Uh, I found just about myself from journaling the things that I really like and what my theme of what I really like. So I decided to stick with that throughout the whole year, at least um, as strict or as rough as I or as loose as I want to. That's the great thing about bullet journaling. Like I said, it's so customizable. The next thing I'm going to recommend you have for your bullet journal is a ruler. So you can just buy a regular size 12 inch ruler. Um, but I find those are, I don't know, really hard for when I'm like trying to go like across the page like this. Uh, I find it hard. So um, I got another planner last year actually as a gift and this was in it. And I've been using this ever since in my bullet journal. Like I love it. Um, it's perfect size um, for my for my bullet journaling at least. I feel like but a ruler is great if you prefer straight lines you don't have to have straight lines this is something also that comes back to how you feel about what you're looking at if they if you don't care about the wavy lines if you don't care about the drawn aspect of it then just go ahead and do your best to make a straight line or if you really want a crisp 
clean look you can just use your ruler but I definitely think a ruler is a must-have um, either way because there are moments where you fear drawing a grid or drawing a habit tracker you're definitely gonna want those straight lines so uh, ruler must-have the next thing I would say that you definitely need for your bullet journal are some stickers so I previously two years ago two years and three years ago had a happy planner for my bullet for my journaling or for my planning and um, I collected tons of these happy planner stickers uh, I love stickers I just love stickers I'm I I like to doodle like I don't love to doodle. I like to doodle uh, but I love stickers so for me incorporating something that I really enjoy doing so having something I can use in my bullet journal is perfect for me these happy planner stickers are perfect for planning they have things like um to-do list uh task list remember important things like that and you can just stick it into your bullet journal and then write what you need to write underneath it uh, but using these as kind of like a guide when you're not good at doodling me i'm not the best doodler i'm trying to get into it because i do like the look of it um but it's not something that i absolutely have to have but I love the artistic look of stickers. So I kind of just use this interchangeably with a little bit of doodling here and there and definitely my hand lettering. I'm um, adding each of those aspects in. So I definitely think stickers are a must have, especially when you're first starting because then you don't have to worry about, oh, I need to get this doodle right. Oh, I need to make it look like this because you'll have a sticker to help you begin. <laughs> the next thing I think you definitely need when starting your bullet journal is a bookmark. Personally, I love these magnetic bookmarks. Uh, you can just put them anywhere in a book you're reading, in your journal, in a uh, in recipe book that you want to remember the recipe for, anything like that. I love these little magnetic things um, and they stay put. That's another thing that I love about them. Um, and I just put them in whatever page that I'm using. So I have one in my monthly and then I have one in um, my week or I have one in my weekly spread this is actually the previous week <laughs> but um, I just used to usually and have those to just keep my page so I can if I grab my journal at night I have only have a few minutes I'm just gonna flip to the page that I need I don't have to go searching for that so the last thing that you definitely need when starting a bullet journal is a purpose for your bullet journal. When the creator, writer Carol, made the bullet journal system, his purpose was to be more productive in his life, whether it was with his work or if it's with his personal life. He wanted a productivity system that worked for him. You need the same thing. When I started bullet journaling, I was really looking at the artistic aspect of it and as I continued on, I realized just how customizable it can be. And with that, I can really see how it can apply to my life. The things that I can add to my bullet journal can just make my life better. And they're not the same thing that someone else may add to their bullet journal. But that's the great part about it is that you can make it really custom and you can make it work for you. So definitely having a purpose for what you want your bullet journal to be, what you want it to do for you, how you want it to work for you in your life is a must have for when you're starting a bullet journal. If you need any ideas on what to put in your bullet journal, how you want to use your bullet journal to increase your productivity, or even any artsy aspects, you can definitely check out my Pinterest down below. I have tons of ideas pinned and clipped there. Also, there will be a couple of Instagram pages linked down below of bullet journal pages that I follow that I find great inspiration from, things that I am enjoying looking at and helping me get more into bullet journaling. I have all my information linked down below, everything that I mentioned in this video and where you can find it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you hit that subscribe button so you can see more of my bullet journal ideas. Productivity is something that's really important to me as I'm continuing to grow in just my life in general. I want to always be productive and feel productive every day of my life. Life is short sometimes so I want to just make the most of every single day and for me to do that I need to be productive I need to stay on point and my bullet journal definitely helps me do that I think it is a great investment for you to check out bullet journaling and see if it's the planner for you I use mine like I said basically as just a custom planner uh, how I can customize my life and just be more productive in the things that I want to do things that I want to improve on for sure so that is what the bullet journal system is all about 
productivity and improvement and just just getting better at being you and doing the things that you want to do if you haven't already checked it out i have a new bullet journal setup i'll link that video up in the cards in the description box below and you can see my setup for 2021 but i'm just super excited to just share what i love about bullet journaling with you guys so you can definitely start your own productivity system and just get better at being you thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe so you can see more of me see you guys in my next one bye